Hello there, fellow webmaster. Welcome to Rackner TV. I'm Christian, and today we will be diving into learning how to link a domain name to your website's IP, and vice versa, on the LAMP stack with Alma Linux OS. Trust me, it's easier than you may think, so let's go ahead and just dive into it. So in the previous video on the channel, we discussed how to install WordPress on a LAMP stack environment with Alma Linux OS. This video will be related to that one, and since the WordPress installation is only available to be accessed through your website's IP path, for example, HTTP forward slash forward slash 1.1.1.1 forward slash WordPress. This tutorial will fix that. We will go through pointing your domain's DNS to the server IP address and then setting up your website's virtual virtual host file, making your website listen to port 80 so that it can be accessed properly through your domain name and vice versa. This is also necessary to enable SSL or HTTPS for your website's domain further. But we're not covering SSL generation in this video. We will discuss that in our next video very soon. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified about that. So let me just go ahead and share my screen and we'll get right into the tutorial. Okay, so to get started, make sure that you have your domain registered with a domain registrar. This will typically involve purchasing a domain name from a provider like Rackner.com. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll show you a test domain to go through the ordering process. It should be very easy and we'll review our order and check out to complete the order and pay. So once you have your domain registered, you'll need to configure the domain's DNS to point it to the server's IP. Head on over to your domain registrar's website and locate the DNS management section. Here, you'll create an A record that points your domain to the IP address of your server. Now it's time to set up your server. Make sure you have Alma Linux OS installed on your server and the LAMP stack is up and running. If you need some help with this, you can check our installation tutorials on this channel at Rackner TV. I will paste the links in the description down below. So once the server is ready, you'll want to configure your Apache virtual host. This involves creating a new virtual host file and specifying your domain name and the directory where your website files are located. To do this, first log into your server and update your system by running this command. In my case, I already updated my system earlier, so I have nothing to update here. It may be different in your case, and it may take a while to finish the update, so just be patient while it's in the process. Once the update is complete, download the virtualhost.zip file below in the description, then extract its contents, and you get a text file in there. Now change the domain.com, which is www.domain.com, to your website's domain name and forward slash home, forward slash username, forward slash domain.com to your related website directory. And please pay attention to your screen and follow along with me as I go through my own Apache virtual host file setup. So you can use it as a reference. My domain will be ragnardtv.com and my website's directory is forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash html, forward slash wordpress which is based on the previous video tutorial we demonstrated on the channel, how to automate WordPress installation. Once done, copy the content and create a new virtual host file for your website on the server by running the following command. Then we will paste the content from the text file here and save it by hitting Control plus X and then Y and Enter keys on, win on your Windows machine. Please feel free to find the appropriate keys for this to work on Mac and Linux machines. Once the file is saved, let's go ahead and restart our Apache web server to apply those changes. We can do this by running this command. And by the way, let's also make sure to check our DNS if the propagation has already been completed. We can check out our status of our DNS propagation by navigating to the dnschecker.org website and entering our domain name before we can guarantee the right status if the domain linkage method is successful for our website. And here, as you can see, my DNS hasn't propagated yet to most of the locations anyway. So what I will do is use a VPN instead to connect to the locations that have already completed that propagation of my domain. So let's do this 
now, I'll enable my VPN in Singapore since we just saw earlier, Singapore has already completed the propagation process. Now let's go ahead and test our domain name to see if it's linked successfully to our website's IP. Make sure it is also working the other way around. And as you can see, we've successfully linked our domain name to our website's IP and vice versa on a LAMP stack with Alma Linux OS. And that's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. And remember at Raptor, we offer a wide variety of hosting solutions and excellent customer support. We're experts in our field and we can 100% guarantee that your website is in good hands with us. So head on over to Rackner.com for your hosting needs and let us help you stand out from the crowd by having your back and managing your LAMP stack environment to the next level.